Many students have asked me for a text completion video, so here it is. What I thought I'd do is do things a bit differently for this video, and you can test yourself against me on a bunch of random text completion questions. Some of these are gonna be filling one blank, some of them are gonna be filling in two blanks. I haven't seen these before, I'm gonna be trying them. They're from majortests.com, and I may get one wrong, but I'll try my best and I'll try to explain my reasoning as I'm going along. I'm not sure how long the video is going to be, but just try your best to pause as you're going along and see if you can get the right answer too. I hope it helps and time for the first question. Here we go. When staying in a hotel, Bernard would arrange for his valet to bring him his newspaper in the dining room so that everyone would realize that he had a manservant. Okay, this something embarrassed his nephew who, okay, so what are the options? This something, this ostentation, very likely correct. Ostentation means like showy or impressive wealth, which is kind of what he's doing here. He's showing off his wealth, his arrogance. The reason I'm not so keen on arrogance yet is just because bringing in a manservant isn't necessarily arrogant. I mean, it's showing off, but it's not really arrogant. There's a difference. Dissimulation is kind of like lying, simulating something. So it's not lying, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be ostentation. This ostentation embarrassed his nephew, who, though equally rich, and that guarantees that ostentation is right, because ostentation is about wealth, and there's a synonym, being rich. Embarrassed his nephew, who, though equally rich, preferred a more something lifestyle. So I'm expecting the opposite of ostentatious, which is not opulent, that again means rich and showing off, libertine, so it's understated. The opposite of showing off and having ostentation is being understated, being reserved, almost like humble. Libertine just means kind of doing anything you want, which is not really the opposite of ostentation. So Bernard showed off and this guy wanted a more understated lifestyle. It's the opposite of showing off. By the way, what I'd recommend you do at this point would be to look up any words that you didn't know in detail. For example, ostentation. Type in the word that you want to know more about. Here, ostentation. And then when you get the result, think of the way that you're going to try and remember it. So ostentation means a showy display of wealth, showing off. So you could bring up your notepad and write something like ostentation, showing off your wealth, and then a way that you're going to remember that. Maybe like costentation. I just made that up, but it's kind of, it sounds a bit like costentation because it's like showing off the cost of things, showing off your wealth. And that would be a great way to remember the word. Anyway, I might do that for fun with a few of the words in this practice, but let's get back to the test. Pretty sure I got that one right. Next one. Although he was finally something, the years of something tore apart his social circle, ruined his health, and something his mind. So the first thing is likely going to be a positive because it's an although, like although he had this positive thing happen, all these bad things had happened before. So I'm looking for something positive. Incriminated is a bad thing. It's kind of, you're liable for criminal prosecution. Acclaimed is good. Vindicated is probably right, just because it's kind of like, although he's finally vindicated, which means proven right, all these things, negative happened to him. It could be acclaimed, but I don't think so at this point. But I'll reserve that for now. It might be acclaimed. Although he was finally vindicated, the years of something tore apart his social circle. So the opposite of being vindicated, self-doubt, maybe, suspicion, dedication. Well, which of these things could tear apart his social circle? ruin his health. Not dedication, that's for sure. Self-doubt is 
probably not strong enough. Self-doubt wouldn't ruin your health. Suspicion would make sense because maybe he was suspected of a crime and for years people suspected him of that crime but now he's been vindicated, he's been proven innocent. So although he was finally vindicated, the years of suspicion tore apart his social circle, ruined his health and something his mind. It's not going to be mellowed, which is kind of made weaker or softer because it's not as strong as ruined his health. It's got to be something quite dramatic because ruining his health and tearing apart his social circle are devastating. So something devastating would be being deranged, which is kind of like going insane and deranged his mind. Sharpened is a good thing, so that wouldn't be in keeping. Pretty sure I got that right. Okay, I'm on a roll. As Gerard something the something, that could be anything, as Gerard something the something that greeted his work, he became increasingly smug. So smug means like pleased with yourself. So as Gerard not humbly accepted, because that's the opposite of being smug and kind of arrogant, bast in. To bask in something is to revel in something, kind of almost arrogantly really enjoying something. As Gerard bast in the praise is going to be here, basically. As Gerard bast in the accolades, yes. Yeah, accolades is kind of like praise. As Gerard bast in enjoyed the praise that greeted his work, he became increasingly smug. Opprobrium is attack, like hate or um, criticism and lack of interest wouldn't fit. So if you didn't know that word, opprobrium, what would we do? Go to Google, type in opprobrium, I can spell it, harsh criticism. And then how are we gonna remember that? Let's bring up our notepad just to show you how you would add some words. Opprobrium, harsh criticism. I'm just gonna make something up. Opprobrium sounds a bit like being opposed to something, right? So opposed, opposed Brium. I know it's silly, but it's my way of remembering the word. If someone's really opposed to you, you could say they have opprobrium, harsh criticism for you. They are opposed Brium. Okay, on with the test. It is a common complaint that people today have short attention span. But is it that people are something if the television camera something of you? So this is quite difficult. So I'm going to try and read all the way to the end to try and understand what's going on rather than pick answers because I have no idea what's going on. Is it that people are something if the television camera something of you? Or is it that the something from one angle to another has trained the viewer to expect variety? So I can latch on to something here at least. I've got a word here, variety. So what, what would it be? The, probably something like the, the, the switching from one angle to another has trained the viewer to expect variety. Because variety means changing. So for C, is it that the constant shift, that makes sense. Is it that the constant shift from one angle to another has trained the viewer to expect variety? That would make you expect variety if there's always shifting about. Delay in moving, no, that's the opposite. Inability to move, no, that's the opposite. Okay, so I'm confident it's G. But now let's try and go backwards. So we know, is it that people are something are satisfied if the satisfied isn't really in keeping we're not talking about how satisfied people are we're talking about their attention span is it that people are fascinated mm, maybe not really impatient would fit because impatient fits with the short attention span so always be looking out for synonyms antonyms is it that people are impatient if the television camera has if the television camera has something of you well, they wouldn't be impatient if it cuts short or rapidly changes, so lingers over a view. Just gonna double check that makes sense. Common complaint that people today have a short attention span, but is it that people are impatient if the television camera lingers over a view, or in contrast, they're not impatient, is it that the constant shift has trained them? Okay, happy with that. Let us move on. 
I'm hoping this is helping. If it's helping you in any way, obviously leave a like, leave a comment, leave a question. The something and virtuosity, I think I know virtuosity. I think that means like making up as you go along, I think. Or maybe it means being talented. I'll look it up afterwards anyway. The something and virtuosity required of a jazz player make jazz seem to lack something. This apparently amorphous, like shapeless flow. Just talking about how shapeless and how unrhythmic, I guess, the flow is, can make it hard for people with traditional expectations of musical stability. So if people expect stability, they're going to get something different with jazz. So what's the opposite of stability? Not controlled. Nothing to do with emotions, really. I don't see anything to do with emotions here. So inventiveness would fit. The inventiveness, unpredictability, and the virtuosity required of jazz player make jazz seem to lack inherent structure. Rhythm, ooh, that's tough. Structure or rhythm? The only reason I'm going to go with structure, not rhythm, is just because, well, first of all, I think jazz does have some rhythm. But anyway, also because it's the synonym of like stability, stability and structure. Not quite exactly the same as um, stability, but it makes me think they want a word to go with stability, which is like structure rather than rhythm. Double check that one. The inventiveness and virtuosity of a kind of jazz player make jazz seem to lack inherent structure. It's apparently amorphous. There you go. It's also the opposite of amorphous. If something is amorphous, it lacks shape and structure not necessarily rhythm. So I'm confident with B and D. Let me look up virtuosity in the same way as always. Virtuosity. Great skill in music. Oh, I never knew that. Great skill in music or another artistic pursuit. So let's do that. Great skill in music. How am I going to remember that? I guess virtue virtuous they have virtue in music so virtuosity is virtue in music slash art that's how i'm going to remember it virtue sorry in music slash art cool that's another word in my vocabulary so i don't want this video to be too long so i might stop there i just wanted to give you a taste of how i approach these text completion questions and start creating a word list and expand my vocabulary. I'm going to quickly check what I got, even though there's loads left. And you're going to see exactly how I did live, which I'm pretty confident. Yes, I was a five out of five. Fairly confident on that. Um, I don't always get perfect scores on these. I do occasionally get some wrong. But even if I get ones wrong, I always try to learn the relevant vocab. If this helped in any way, please do, of course, leave a like, leave a comment. I read them all and thank you for watching.